there's yeah. a new new strain out now as well, isn't it? So they say. Mm. Yeah. No, nobody understands anything, do they? Really? It's the start. Yeah. It, I tell you now, right? It's the start of the alien invasion. This is yeah. just the forerunner. <laughs> Don't laugh. No, no. Come into the, come into the end. Earth come is flat. Did you know the Earth is Maybe flat? For yonks. And it's all, it's, it's all because it's all um, a conspiracy with NASA. Because NASA, right, has got control of the governments and it, it's in their interest to keep the Earth round. Because yeah, yeah. it's round. You know? So I'm <laughs> just talking bullshit. I what the fuck I'm talking about, Stone. We don't, we don't know why you're laughing, Con. We all believe you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, well, I'll, I, continue. I, I, I'll continue. With 100%, Con, 100%. Speaking. Okay, but it's a, anyway, it's a conspiracy that they have put down the coronavirus to make us weaker and incoercive that we will be able to accept the existence and arrival of aliens yeah. but we I, know I, one thing now anyway con won't be able to put this on the internet because he'd be certified straight after it <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 no but, uh, no I, I, I just said that because um i've been watching some of these fucking flat earth videos you know they're fucking off their tits man they just have no sense of reality mm -hmm. i mean come on Mm -hmm. I, w I wouldn't worry about it. There's a big notice at the end of the solar system that uh, this solar system and Earth is in quarantine. Bugger off. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wants yeah. to come here. Yeah, fuck yeah. <clears throat> system shut down. <laughs> yeah. I, I well, can tell you... Um, the talking, of aliens, talking of aliens, there's one coming up now, I think. Oh, ah. Johnny, oh. Hey, 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 Johnny. He's looking very flush. <laughs> Joe. Hey, John, all right? Where's, Where's Father Christmas gone? Disappeared for another year, mate. <laughs> what was that doing? Sorry, go on, Howard. Good evening, Johnny. Speak up. Go on, Howard, I interrupted you, sorry. Oh, what did I say? Oh, yeah, and we were talking about NASA earlier on, Con. And um, I, I worked oh, 20 years ago, when we wrote the book about the Giza Plateau, <clears throat> we got involved with John... Lear, you know the Lear Jet Company? Yeah. Uh, the guy who uh, invented the get uh, that, um, in, I think it was in the 60s, 50s. Anyway, John Lear, the son, was a, a pilot for his father. And uh, we spoke to him. Uh, we were talking about uh, some planetary alignments at the time. And he said, well, I can ask the guys in NASA, because I regularly, on a weekly basis, drive, uh, f fly them around from A to B around the States. And he said, the interesting conversation one day, because we wrote this chapter about the moon, because there's a lot of references when the moon wasn't available. I mean, Plato talked about a tribe, uh, 5,500 BC, talking about uh, there, was, there was a time with no moon. The, the Bible talks about it, and Vanacosti talks about it. Anyway, na he was taking these uh, NASA guys, and he said, what about the moon? And they said, well... We know for a fact it was towed into position 50,000 years ago. So the guy said, what do, you, what do you mean? You know, he said, well, it, it was at a time when there was a massive asteroid hit at Mars and, and the Earth went in a sort of alignment and he went right out of alignment because of this uh, asteroid or about to be put out of alignment. So they towed the moon in to get um, the position accurate and that's why it affects slightly the tides today. So that's the story that John Lear told me. From the uh, his, <laughs> his, his, um, NSA guys. Okay, so, what do you think of that? <laughs> well, <laughs> have you, I, I haven't heard that one, Howard. That's a fucking. Well, crazy. It, it's. It, it, yeah, it's apparently. It's, that's what John Lear said the uh, NSA uh, told him. It's true, man. You know, it must be true. It was, was but it, if was there it, are references, when at the time, even the tribes in South America have got uh, only written on the blankets on the walls at a time when there's no moon about uh, myths and, uh, you know. So they reckon 50,000 years ago, it wasn't the moon. And we, 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 we know for a fact it's not from this, from Earth, that part of the no, that it's, chunk it's, anyway. It's a part of a planet that crashed into the Earth 50, yeah, about so, 500 million years ago. When the four just well, 
Yeah, it's, it's an interesting scenario. Yeah, but I don't think it wouldn't it wouldn't stand up a leg for investigation. About uh, fifty thousand years ago, no, I'm sorry, it didn't stand up. Well, there's a lot of references. Uh, if you you look up Belikovsky, it's in the Bible and uh, well, the like Bible. Hang on, that. hang on. The Bible is a fairy story, so you well, can't. Yes, you can't, reason, reference, yeah. you can't reference I, I, a fairy I, story. I agree. It's it, it's a lot of the myth in it, but it's referenced there. So where do they get that from? But they can't. Uh, no, the but if it's the referenced moment. there, where's the proof? They can't. The Bible well, is not true. Two thousand years ago, there'll be photographs of it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just a handy, handy, handy down myth. If you were around. <laughs> handy down myth like all the others that, uh, of ancient tribes that they do mention the time when there's no, yeah, uh, no but, moon. But anything without factual, scientific, uh, what's it called, uh, proof can be refuted. Well, I, I, because I, quite, I, I quite agree. Yeah. I'm with you. But, but where do you get that scientific from? Like that proof from? Well, you just check out the orbits of the planets, the solar systems, you take it back millions of years, which they've done, and the moon yeah, is Yeah, but there. they can't, and the, they can't, because uh, the moon wasn't there, according to them, you can't go back that far. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... You, 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 you can only go back as far uh, on the planetarium uh, apps, uh, you know, software, but what they know today, and the, the, my you know, man said in. it's a lot of shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Love it, mate. Love it. Fucking <laughs> okay, brilliant. But it, so, it, 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 I tell you what, it's a fucking good stuff for an art, for not a discussion, not an argument. Because well, no, it, it's just, he's basically it's, saying that the the moon is not real, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it, it's an artificial satellite, but but yeah. it is it is naturally uh, on the outer surface, naturally made. But who knows? It's it, just it, all. Uh, all well, I know is that, that, that case, uh, that's what could, they told. We could just say it's the fucking dark star. Yeah, the well, star, I'm, I'm just saying star. what uh, I'm just saying what the NSA told John Lee, and that's what he told us. Yeah, yeah fair enough. Mm. Remember, I if you watch two thousand one, a space odyssey, it all makes sense then. Mm. <laughs> We asked John Goss yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> Goss, He's got the John, answers John to everything. John Goss knows the answer. Exactly. No. Yeah, I, haven't seen, I haven't seen. I haven't seen John for ages. Anyone know where he is? No, I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him for years. Literally oh. years. Yeah, you are. You don't deliver that way, do you? So you don't know. No, I did. See, the last time I saw John Goss was. Christ, come out, he was coming out of Singleton Hospital about two or three years ago. It's the last time I saw him. I think I saw him two years ago in the co-op in uh, Mumbles. It's the last time I saw him. Uh, She's not even eating that. I'll have to ask his daughter.